Shalom and welcome to our Living Supernaturally episode for today. We trust along with us you have been enjoying God's word, meditating on his word and just being strengthened as we learn and look deeply into his word. We have been looking at a fresh series of the fear of the Lord. And yesterday we started to understand and look at some scriptures that helps us see the different benefits or the blessings that we have because of our fear of the Lord. And in today's verse, I want to bring to you another benefit. Reading two verses, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So the benefit and the blessing that we have when we fear the Lord is to have wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is seeing and responding to situations or things from the point of God. And in these verses, there is a parallel that is there between the wise and the foolish. And this, it gives us some insight. And the, here you see that there is a sharp contrast between a wise life and the foolish life. So a wise person is one who fears and obeys the Lord and reveres the Lord. But a fool is one who despises the instruction of God. The wise person is wise because he started off in the first place with God, but the fool has no foundation at all on which to build wisdom. So without the fear of God, we make decisions based on our own faulty understanding. But when we incorporate the fear of the Lord into every faulty moment of our lives, we make decisions based upon the desire of God. So we see that the fear of God, when we fear the Lord in situations and life from God's perspective, when we fear the Lord, we see situations and life from the perspectives of, of God, from the way God sees it, in the wisdom that he has it. So some examples that we can look at. Maybe you are asked by your peers or your friends, maybe if you're in school or college, to do something. Maybe it's, uh, it's copying or doing something that isn't, that is displeasing to God. Because of your reverence and your honor that you have to the Lord, that will keep you away from doing that which is foolish. Or it may be at your workplace, you are asked to make some shortcuts or certain compromises in the way that you work. The fear of the Lord, the awareness that the Lord is watching over you, the, the awareness that you are representing God keeps you in doing things that are foolish, but working towards things that are wise. So we see in scripture that when we revere God, when we love God, when we have the fear of God, it is the beginning of wisdom. It brings us to a place of seeing things in the perspective of God and through his wisdom. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we praise your name to know that as we fear you, you give us godly, heavenly wisdom. It keeps us away, Master, from everything that is foolish. And we take on your perspective, your view, your viewpoint, of, of life. Lord, we pray that we operate in the wisdom of God as we look to you. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.